Hey kids, you might not need projectile. Uh, let me explain. So if you uh, use projectile for basic projects, uh, basic Git projects, then you should try the built-in project.l um, package that's built into Emacs. Um, I'm using the Emacs 30, I think so. Quite a recent one, but I think from 27 or 28, uh, version 28, so 27 or 28 of Emacs, then pack, uh, project.l is available. All you need to do is require project, and that's it. It auto binds to control XP, um, and uh, you get this submenu here. Um, so you've got all the usual candidates like P to switch project, F to find a file in the project, um, you know, D to find a directory in the project, open a shell, things like that. The things that I use the most, I'll just go through those, uh, is obviously to open a project. So if I open a project, project here, I now get an option. Do I want to find a file? Do I want to find a directory? Do I want to use some regex? Do I want to open a shell? Or do I want to have a look at the version control? For this one, let's just find file and open up the app.py. Uh, I'm also going to start a process. Um, once I'm here, I can press Control XP P to switch to another project. Let's switch to Snapgraph. Let's find a file. Web app app. That's fine. Um, so useful commands when you're working on multiple projects. Um, you can do Control X P capital B, uh, and you'll get a list of buffers that are open. Uh, which isn't that interesting there. Uh, so let's do Control P capital B here, and you'll see we've got the shell app.py. Um, what else is the finding files? Control X P F. Uh, then you get the usual, however you find files, whatever system you use to find files. Um, you can. Uh, the other very useful one I use is to uh, kill buffers. So you can kill all the buffers in the project. So if you do control X P K, you'll get a prompt, kill all four butter buffers. I'll say yes, because there is a process running here. I should get warned that yes, buffer charm hub IO e shell has a running process. Kill it. Yes or no. I'm going to kill that. And then I can kill Snapcraft as well. Um, and that's it. It's fairly basic. There's not much more to it. You should just try it. I don't see any reason that you can't use it alongside projectile just to try it out as long as it's bound to different, uh, different, um, different key cord. Um, there is a website that I will include the project website. I'll include it in the description. Check it out. Try it. I find it's a lot more lightweight. It does everything that I need it to do. Uh, it doesn't have as many integrations at the minute with as projectile with other packages um but i don't really use any other packages that use projectile so which is why i got rid of it um so yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching do the little tickle and the subscribe and the like and the, all those things uh leave a comment below as well if you've got anything to add if you've got any questions if you've got any comments and uh, that's it for now cheers um see you next time bye bye bye